Okay then, so retro pickup time, and some things that aren't so retro as well. So, uh, obviously, uh, Black, Black Friday is a, an event around the world now, mostly. Um, so I picked up a couple of things, plus a, two retro things as well. So I got the uh, Hobbit trilogy on the 4K Blu-ray. I've never owned a 4K Blu-ray before. Um, I was quite impressed at the uh, clarity compared to the uh, 3D Blu-rays I've got previously. Um, and it was on offer at about, it wasn't cheap, it was like 45 quid, but down from about 64. It's still the Lord of the Rings I want, but I've still got my um, original extended DVD cuts. So, and this is just the films, not uh, no features at all. So, looking forward to sitting watching the uh, Desolation of is it Smog. I think it's, yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, so uh, yeah, looking forward to watching that. Um, physical, uh, I think, is gonna have to be a big thing soon because uh, apparently Sony has been pulling uh, movies and or documentaries off uh, from Discovery. So I don't know how exactly they're getting away with that. Um, I believe it's something to do with uh, licensing issues, but in that situation, they need to refund people one way or the other. There's no excuse for that. Um, but that is one of the uh, hindrance of uh, digital media, I suppose. Anyway, on to the ones I was more interested in. So, Resident Evil. I wanted the director's cut, but the PAL copy goes for uh, about 45 to about £80. Pounds. So I ended up getting a an okay copy. It's not... Uh, discs in very good condition. It's in well, decent nick. Uh, sadly, the manual is a bit naff. Um, it's uh, all stuck together for some reason. I don't know. I don't want to know why it's all stuck together. <laughs> but um, as you can see, and there are some codes in there as well. But unfortunately, bits of it are stuck together, sadly. Um, but I've wanted a copy of it for a while. Uh, I just need uh, Resident Evil 3. As you can see, that page is a bit stuck. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, but I was looking for it on the uh, Nintendo GameCube because I've got RE2 already on. Um, oh, and it's in the PS2 at the moment. Uh, and it's all. So I don't know if they get it on PS1 or GameCube. Uh, the other copy I looked at was Dreamcast as well. But um, yeah, I'm glad to have that. I do. I've got the director's cut on my, on my uh, PS5 which I bought digitally for PS3, but that's the only one of the, of the original games that's actually available on the PSN service for PS5 at the moment. So hopefully the other games will come at some point, but um, it's a bit annoying, but um, we've got another remake coming. Speaking of Resident Evil, I have been playing through the Resident Evil 4 uh, Separate Ways DLC, uh, where you play as Ada. Um, the Resident Evil 4 remake gets better. It really is. It's just, it's just an excellent game all, all the way along. But I'm glad to have RE1. Um, the remake is technically better, I suppose, but I've got so much nostalgia for the original. For It's just one of those games. And also, um, if you run it through uh, an upscale, it looks even it looks even better. You can really mess with this and get a much better uh, image clarity and stuff. Um, but I believe the RetroTINK 4K has just come up. It's like $750, so... Uh, I mean, if you've got the money, I suppose it's uh, it's always a given. But um, I'll stick with the OSSC I've got. It's um, it was about 80, 90 quid, and that's done a damn good job so far. I just need a um, um, <clears throat> a the composite, uh, not composite, uh, yeah, composite uh, adapter into the OSSC, and then I can um, capture uh, N60. N64, and sadly I can't capture on the uh, Master System because it's only RF out, so I probably need to get a modified Master System uh, at some point, and yes, I am currently also making my way through uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yeah, enjoying that a great deal. Uh, it's so long, though, so I bought a... And I did actually buy a, a book for it, which is quite a cool book. Uh, it's the uh, Tears of the Kingdom guide book. It's about 500 pages. Um, it's very, very nice. And you could excuse my finger is in the way of the camera. But uh, yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying that. So, and last on the least when it comes, 
list when it comes to retro stuff is a uh, master system now this was about 15 16 quid sonic one on the master system um uh, you'll have to excuse my voice i do have a cold um yeah i've been wanting this for a while now i went on about this a while back uh, in one of my videos from oh, gotta be a year or a couple of years back now of uh, Sonic 1 on the Mega Mega Drive collection, which is, is that one there. Excuse my crap. Uh, this has also got Sonic 1, but this has the Game Gear version on it. The Master System version is superior in just about every way. There's no screen crunch. Um, the game is generally looks better uh, graphically. Uh, the only thing I understand with the Game Gear version is the Game Gear version has um, some slight improvements in terms of uh, uh, glitches and bugs and stuff. But generally, this is in immaculate condition. I'm, I'm well chuffed about this. In comparison to Resident Evil, it wasn't that great condition. Uh, sadly, not the most colourful of games, Master System Power Games, but... Uh, I mean, look at this manual, man. This is mint. This is absolutely mint, this manual. Uh, I just need a modified master system or a uh, Mega Drive uh, master system converter, one or two preferably. So I think two is more expensive than one, but it might be easy just to get a modified master system that's got composite out, might make more difference. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to actually jump on that. As I said, I love the original one. Now this is quite cool. Um, it came with it, and it's just a poster of uh, all the Master System games that were available at the time. But ah, uh, this is a this is a blast from the past. This is uh, Master. If I can ever open the bloody thing, Master System is uh, also it was incredibly popular in the UK and I believe in Europe, uh, as you can see. You know, we didn't have the whole um, Sega does what Nintendo don't. The the Marketing in in the UK and Europe, I believe, wasn't quite as aggressive. Uh, but hell, it didn't need to be. Sega, I would say Sega, in my opinion, from my experience as a child, uh, Sega were more popular than Nintendo for for the the eight bit generation. Although I always did have a uh, certain what's the word for uh, I I loved. Being able to get on a Nintendo system because I could never get on them normally. I never owned one. First Nintendo system I had was um, uh, N64, uh, which is quite late, really, considering. But uh, you grow an appreciation. I'm actually trying to, trying to go back for and collect like Golden Axe. I used to have that on my sister's system. Altered Beast, I had that after Beast. Uh, although I hated uh, old, uh, not old, uh, Shadow of the Beast, it was one I really, really just really didn't like. Uh, Oh, what was it called? Um, Action Fighter, that was another one. And we got a lot more games in the UK, I believe, than it than did in the US because it was discontinued very, very quickly in the US because it just didn't have the popularity. That is so cool. But anyway, since my retro pickups, um, I have done some streaming for, as I said, Resident Evil 4, uh, Separate Ways DLC. I'm about halfway through it, I think. It's been about two hours so far. So for a DLC that was about £7, I'm, I'm quite impressed so far with the length. And uh, you can upgrade your weapons at the merchant shop, just like you can uh, with the base main campaign with Leon. So uh, that, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot to like, and uh, they're taking Wesker, it looks like, in a different direction to the original game as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where that story's going to go. And they've also announced that there will be another remake coming. Cross my fingers for Code Veronica, but we will see. 